Obtain all the training movies and also the mesh file by purchasing the CFD simulation training package. Coronavirus is currently recognized as the greatest and the newest human challenge in the world. In addition to being dangerous to human health, coronavirus has a high transmission power between a sick person and healthy people. Breathing of a patient person without mask into an enclosed space can transmit the disease to nearby people although coughing and sneezing are dramatically more dangerous even in the open air. One of the important recommendations of doctors regarding the prevention of virus particles transmission between people is social distancing in different places including public transportation, hospitals, schools, stadiums, restaurants and so on. The social distance can be different in various locations in terms of being indoor or outdoor. Air conditioning systems play the main role in various infection removal. So we need an accurate and practical air conditioning system design to overcome the virus particles dispersion in different places like airplanes, elevators, clean rooms and so on. In this CFT simulation training package, we will enlighten you the essential tact to carry out numerical CFT simulations. We investigate both steady and transient solvers, breathing, coughing, sneezing, and talking of patients in different places of airplane cabin, elevator cabin, clean rooms, operation rooms, cars, classrooms, open airs and so on. The coronavirus expert CFT simulation training package includes 10 different CFT projects including comprehensive training movies and mesh files. The first problem simulates the flow of respiratory air from the mouth of a COVID-19 patient hospitalized in a room occupied with ventilation and air conditioning system. The main purpose of this simulation process is to allow fresh oxygen carrying air to flow continuously into the interior of the room rather than to expel polluted air from the patient's mouth to the environment. Ventilation systems and air conditioners are designed on the ceiling and the floor of the room are responsible for circulating fresh air inside the room and directing it from the side pores to the outside environment. In the second project, based on the CFD method and using ANSYS Fluent software, an attempt has been made to simulate the respiration of viral air from the mouth of several patients carrying coronavirus in the airplane cabin. Here we can see some part of the training movie. As for thermal condition, we can see that heat flux, thermal condition is activated. And the amount of heat flux on this wall is equal to zero, which means that this wall is adiabatic. In the third project, an attempt has been made to simulate the dispersion of coronavirus particles due to a cough from the mouth of a coronavirus carrier patient inside the interior of an elevator cabin. The elevator cabin is one of the most important spaces in the discussion of coronavirus disease because usually a number of people with the shortest possible distance are placed in a small space with not very strong ventilation system. In the fourth project, the spread of the coronavirus due to a cough in the open air is simulated. The spread of the virus particles in the open air can infect a person at a certain distance from the patient. Therefore, one of the most up-to-date topics that researchers are constantly researching is calculating and examining the minimum appropriate distance between a sick person and a healthy person to prevent the spread and transmission of viruses when a patient coughs or sneezes 
called social distancing or physical distancing. Now based on the CFD method and using ANSYS Fluent software, it is possible to simulate the release of coronavirus particles from the patient's mouth during coughing. The problem number 5 simulates the air conditioning system inside a patient's room considering the coronavirus in an operation room. Here we can see some parts of the training movie. The initial studies have shown that the realizable model provides the best performance of all the K-Epsilon models versions for several validations of separated flows and flows with complex secondary flow features and also the outlet temperature assumed to be equal to 300 degree of Kelvin. This is the pressure contour that shows an almost uniform pressure distribution in the room. This is the top view of the three-dimensional pass lines that <clears throat> the flow enter from the six different inlets in the ceiling and uh, exits from the five different outlet section in the side walls. In the project number six, based on the CFD method and using ANSYS Fluent software, an attempt has been made to simulate the spread of virus particles from the mouth of a corona carrier patient inside a car due to a cough. The interior of a passenger car can transmit the virus to its occupants. So the purpose of this study is to investigate the diffusion power of virus particles inside the car interior. In the seventh project based on the CFD method and using ANSYS Fluent software, an attempt has been made to simulate the respiration of viral air from the mouth of C coronavirus carrier students in the classroom. In the project number 8, based on the CFD method, Using ANSYS Fluent software, an attempt has been made to simulate virus particles released from a patient's mouse within a bank. The purpose of this study is to investigate the ability of coronavirus particles to spread inside the bank from a bank customer to a healthy bank employee. This simulation process is performed in two different modes. In the first modeling, no cover is located between the client and the bank employee to show the virus transmission power. In the second modeling, an attempt is made to make a thin plastic cover between them. The cover should be defined to be demonstrate the process of preventing the transmission of coronavirus particles as a barrier. The project number 9 aims to investigate the ability of coronavirus particles to propagate at a distance less than a social distance while talking. One of the doctor's essential advice regarding preventing the transmission of the disease is maintaining the social distance between people when talking to each other. In this project, based on the CFD method and using ANSYS Fluent software, an attempt has been made to simulate the release of virus particles from a coronavirus patient's mouse while talking and transmitting it to another person in a specific space. And finally, the last study simulate the release of coronavirus particles from the mouth of the patients while talking and also using a shield to prevent the transmission to another person. One of the most important recommendations of doctors regarding the prevention of disease transmission between people is the use of special masks or shields in low social distances. The aim of this study 
was to evaluate the effectiveness of using a shield or mask as a barrier on the face of a patient against the spread of virus particles. Obtain all the training movies and also the mesh file by purchasing the CFD simulation training package. To benefit from master CFD services, including simulations, consultations, and training, contact our experts via info at signmastercfd.com.